Hey, what's good with y'all? Look, check this out. Um, yeah, y'all already know a nigga fresh, y'all. Y'all already know. Shout out to the nigga who said that shit. And I know I'm on his 1970 uh, zebra strain couch and shit, but all that don't make no point. But um, I'm doing this video because it's like, man, um, I want to make the connection between like, like put it like this. Let me just get straight to it. X had bad. And the clothing line is fire. It's bomb as hell. Nip had victory lap. And them clothes is fire. His weed shop. You know what I mean? Like, I want to make talk about how Dr. Sibby, you know, Nip was trying to enlighten us on Dr. Sibby and just not even from the aspect of what we put in our body, but how he walked in to the um, Supreme Court and won his case. You know what I'm saying? And then the next day he went into the federal court. And even with the eating, how to eat better and we know we getting poisoned not to eat that and what actually to eat and um x you know if you had paid attention he was all about motivation and mentally taking control of your mind and understand that mental issues in your mind is a strong part and it plays a big part you have to be mentally strong you have to defeat your your demons even if sometimes you got to go in the pit with them and fight them but that's just what you have to do and it's so crazy because it's like on this video, I just got like a whole bunch of motivational videos from him, X and Nip. Like I'm like I don't know. My point is to empower what they were trying to put into us. Like it's not about trying to make the connection between oh the government conspiracy. Nah, it was dumb ignorant niggas who was ignorant. Like straight up from the niggas who kill X. Like they came with the videos. Like these niggas is ignorant. They come with the videos after they killed these niggas and talk about how they did it and like these niggas is. Don't make no sense for that, bro. You could be a savage, but you ain't no savage. You a fuck nigga for that, straight up. You ain't a savage, it's just a fuck nigga. And so, it's like, between both of them, um, they both had their last post and talking about the shit. My bad, man. It's not like I'm caught up. It's just... It's just difficult because, man, this nigga really just, Nipsey really dead. And it's kind of like, I was talking to somebody and I told him, like, you know, XX Tantion is the unknown temptation. And he was the unknown temptation. He was the setup. Not the setup like that. But, like, when he died, it came out of the blue. Niggas robbed him. If you was if you were in a certain category, you knew how strong and how powerful he was. So you felt it deep. And if you wasn't in that category, you still felt the impact of him dying. So you knew it was kinda like, okay, damn, he just died as you died. So it was an unknown temptation. And within a year, here come Nip. Like I'm pretty sure other conspirators will make way more connections than I, but I'm not trying to do all that. And within a year, here come Nip. And so it's like you was already set up by that unknown temptation. And then now Nip died and it's like for X to die and him to be putting out such a positive message in such a dark world and trying to get people to understand that emos, dark side, 666, all that, man, like it's good people that have like fucked up real mental issues and you got to go in there and fight in that world with them and help them in that world because they help them out. And that's what he was doing. And Nip was doing the same thing, but with hood niggas and streets and gangs. And I feel what Daylight was saying, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Daylight. I feel what Daylight was saying because he said it wasn't about no Dr. CB and shit. Man, Nip was bringing hoods together. And I don't think it may have been a government conspiracy, so I don't want to say it wasn't, but I think it was just a dumb nigga. Like, listen to the nigga. He pissed me off. He talked kind of with a with a DC, because, you know, D, I mean, Baltimore curve, they are. So he's kind of curving his own. I don't know if he's a native West Coast, LA nigga, whatever he is, bro. He trying to turn himself in and all that shit. Of course, bro. But they ain't going to save you, bro, because in jail, they going to come after you, bro. You don't realize who you killed. Just like them niggas didn't realize they killed X to afterwards. Like, nigga, you tripping. You ain't safe nowhere, fuck nigga. So it's just like Nip was pulling the motivation for the hoods and putting the hoods together. And then this happened. So it's like you have two of our leading artists that were taken away as far as in fashion and as far as in the rap industry. And they were taken over because we know X was only going to get stronger. And if you, his clothing line is the shit. And Nipsey was finna drop his, like, come on, bro. If you're a true Nipsey fan, like, I've been a Nipsey fan back when he dropped the free mixtape Crenshaw. I know his fans before that and way back further, but you know what I'm saying? I've been a fan. So it's like, I knew it was getting close to Nipsey season. 
I knew it was getting close to Nipsey season. You see Drake said he was going to drop a song. He got a song already with Cali. It was getting close to that time. So it's like, it's fucked up. And it's just, it's just like, come on, bro. We got to smarten up. We got to tighten up. You got to have a reason for what you're doing. And then you got to make sure it's a good reason when you're about to take somebody's life. And it sucks because... I don't really like making these videos. I even posted a video of I can't watch it because the only thing I hear in my head is I can see in my head just him with the shorts and the outfit laid out and me just hearing dedication, motivation, like all his music and just like, fuck, come on, bro. And then think about X and all his, like, come on, bro. It ain't making no sense. We got to have more reasons behind what you doing, bro. Like, that ain't cool to take that man life. That ain't nothing cool about that to me. You don't give a fuck, bro. Like, what? what's your problem, bro? What's your problem, bro? You ain't even met this man. This man ain't never did nothing to you. And if this is a whole backdrop and all this is coming back, like, bro, I'm not, like, bro, you can't talk about nothing unless you talk about this nigga Nipsey done sit up there and killed the nigga whole family because I don't think he done did no shit like that. So I just can't understand why you just going. You knew them niggas was just out there chilling. But you just like, so I only want to get into that, but I'm sorry. I know I talk a little bit, but this is one of them videos to where, you know what I mean? If you got some negative say, man, tighten the fuck up, man. If you got so much negative shit to say, man, don't say it until you come to LA and then tell me where you at and then you can talk your shit. Other than that, man, it's a motivational video. I want people to understand that you can mourn because, you know what I mean? You can mourn because I don't think I'm going to do much today because of it, but you have to. Pay attention to this video. If not today, tomorrow, whenever, just, you know, watch this video when you need some motivation because these niggas lived and died died motivation. I'm putting this up for y'all, but to be perfectly honest with y'all, I'm going to download this motherfucker on my, on my music player and I'm going to have this shit playing when I go to bed at night. Sometimes when I go work out, I'm just having this shit playing. I may be working out on the boxing and just hear just constant X or nip motivation because you got to continue to push what they were trying to push. So therefore, they didn't die in vain because Nip even said on certain songs, X said on certain songs, you know, if a nigga gone, I want y'all to progress a certain way. X said what? X said, uh, he, you know, he'd give his life for his family and his mom and, you know, and he wants them to thrive and that's what happened. And Nip said, uh, you know, like, you know, if he, if his homie was alive or whatever, he would tell him or they would, or he would tell his homie, whatever, you know, get up, go hustle, get your grind, and we know he's that type of nigga. So it's about putting things in the right context. That's why I feel like making this video. All this conspiracy theory, like, that's cool and all, but, like, let's honor the people. Like, I'm not saying don't do that, but I'm saying let's make sure we motivation, motivate and putting forward. Put, pushing somebody forward, kind of like why I'm putting these videos out because I don't want to get into the conspiracy theory. That I want to continue to give you the knowledge that they were trying to drop, you know what I'm saying? So um, I know I talked for a little minute, but just, you know what I mean? Go ahead, check out the video. Let me know what you think, or don't let me know what you think. I fuck with y'all. I love y'all. If you, if you got too much negative energy, bro, I'm going to just transmit it, bro. But it'd be hard because I'm ready to knock some niggas' heads down straight up. But all right, y'all. Look, so check this out. Um, man, you already know how YouTube is, man. Let me tell you something straight up, too, man. Everybody, if you just, like, watch YouTube, but if you do YouTube in any form or fashion, bro, you know YouTube done turned gay as fuck. Like, y'all lame as fuck. And I ain't got no problem with no LGB, but that's gay as fuck. Like, that ain't happy gay. That's just gay as fuck. Like, when you just pissed off at a nigga want to punch him in this shit. That shit gay as fuck, bro, that y'all sitting up here blocking all the bills for everything. Like, goddamn, y'all ain't, ain't, ain't feeding nigga bills anyway, fuck nigga, but... For y'all, I'm going to just post links. And uh, I'm going to have to find a converter and download them and convert them all. All the shits that I wanted to like a song anyway. But, you know, that's what y'all got to do. Um, I'm going to post the links down low. But I'm going to post all just motivational links that these niggas was trying to tell us. I ain't trying to post no, like, none of that. None of that. It ain't none of that. It's a bad day. It's a bad day. X had the temptation, had us set up for the temptation, and then Nipsey died right before the summer when we know Nipsey was going to make his run. He always make his runs. And I was so pissed off because I know I was arguing people about how he should have won the Grammy over fucking Cardi. And Cardi won because, you know, 
she's black women empowerment. No, she's not black, but you know, women empowerment and whatever. And, you know, it's just like, you know, I'm not knocking why she won, but I just knew Nipsey had a better uh, album. I know more niggas know Nipsey. Like, it's victory lap. It's Nipsey. It's the hood motivation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, X is the dark side motivation. Like, you fuck niggas be doing some stupid ass shit, bro. Uh, and so I'm gonna post the links for y'all to watch it because I'm sad, but I know YouTube is a fuck nigga too. Just like, I don't care. I'm like, shout out Vlad, Vlad a fuck nigga too. He a culture vulture too, bro. Culture vulture ass nigga, bro. Putting exposing us, man. Stop doing that, fuck nigga. Man, nigga ain't with that, bro. Like, tighten that shit up, fuck nigga. Like, if you pay attention to this video and you feel like I'm a whatever, 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 then that's cool. Ride with that. Go fuck yourself, nigga, and tighten up. If you want to see me, I'm down here. But other than that, bro, take a day to mourn and take some time to mourn. Do whatever you got to do. Get your mind right. Get your sit down. Get your plan together. Write your shit out. But make sure when you get up tomorrow, when you get up in the next few hours, and whenever you decide to go do it, if you're doing it right now, make sure you do it. Make sure you do it. Because if you die... You wanna, you want, you want people to be moved like this. Nipsey ain't never met me. I mean, I was gonna meet him soon. <laughs> Nipsey ain't never met none of my people, but we was gonna meet him soon just because of the work and how I'm moving. But I mean, it was already dated. But it's just like when you go, you want people to mourn over you. You want people to talk about you. you want people to be fucked up over you. It's bad, but it's good because that means you accomplish life. You making life greater, and that's something that we need to all push and strive for. So make sure you striving to make the world better. And make yourself the best you. Because once you become the best you, then you can help everybody else. I'm sad it happened. I'm sad YouTube will fuck, nigga. They won't let us post videos. I'm sad. Vlad, a culture virtue. I'm sad. 6 9 was so fucking stupid. He told on himself. Like, we know how stupid 6 9 was. Look at his baby mama. She she fucking read some shit. Why would you read that? I would have told Vlad, no. I'm not reading shit. Just give him money. But that's what I'm saying. You hear a nigga just ran out, bro. Because shit, shit got a nigga fucked up, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. This is some of the worst shit that could have possibly happened, bro. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? And it sucks because it ain't even been a year since X, since Temptation, bro. And now it's just like, yep. Like, come on, bro. The niggas that speak, like, the niggas who be talking about, like, I, I fuck with Lil Pump, but he be talking about nothing. The niggas who be talking about nothing and all this shit and snitches like 6 9 these niggas are live. But niggas who trying to up and nip behind the scenes, behind the scenes nips is trying to bring hoods together. And behind the scenes X was trying to bring niggas out of this mental depression and this mental state that's really, really relevant. And it's like, you fuck niggas kill the real niggas over nothing. Come on, bro. This shit hurt a nigga heart. The only thing I can wish is that reincarnation is true. So if it is true, then we'll have that energy again and to get reincarnated just in a different form and fashion. We just got to wait. And, um... Honestly, I know if, 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 if I take off, I know I'm going to die. So I'm okay with that. But I want to make sure we get the right message out. And for anybody who got all this slick shit to say about me, all this blah, 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 bro, what's wrong with you, bro? Like, stop talking. Like, stop being an internet gangster, bro. Do that make y'all feel better by talking shit? Do y'all feel better about that? Because if we was face-to-face, y'all wouldn't do none of that. I'm real-life pressure, man. You dig that? So it's like, bro, man, enjoy your life. If that's what you, if that's, if that makes you happy, then matter of fact, go ahead and do it. But, man, like, have a reason for what you're doing, bro. Because shit for real out here. So I'm gonna post the videos, uh, the links and shit. Y'all watch the links. These fuck niggas YouTubers don't let a nigga post shit. You dig? And y'all stay glee out here. You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy, bro. I'm tired. I don't even know, bro. That shit got a nigga fucked up for real. And then I don't like Buddy had it like the Buddy who said he was shooting. He had over. He curved this shit like he bought it. Like what is you like? I don't like none of this, bro. Just fucking it up, bro. And I can't go to the gym because if I go to the gym, I'm gonna probably kill somebody. Straight up, I don't care how anybody can say what they want, but I I play with blood. I like blood. I like death. I want suicide. I want death, but I know I'm afraid that I don't want the pain, but I want that life. So it's like, I know if I go to the gym, I'm trying to kill a nigga today because I ain't got nothing like none of that. None of that. I'm like that. I'm about that. You know what I'm saying? All day. So, I don't know, bro. I love y'all, man. Be safe, man. And don't fuck with nobody, bro. And if a nigga fuck with you and they do too much, bro, don't kill him. Just choke him to death. Don't kill him, though.
I don't know, man. Everything fucked up, but it's just like, bro, I just find myself doing it. I'm like, man, is anybody going to even watch it this long? And if you is, like, man, I fuck with you, man. Say something. If you're watching it this long, man, say, like, uh, comment gleefully rough, and then I'm going to make sure I follow you. I'm going to make sure I keep, like, you you my dog. You know what I'm saying? If don't nobody write it, then y'all fuck niggas. I ain't tripping. Because the energy is still coming, bro. I'm just so down and out, bro, with my energy real, bro. Y'all ain't never met a nigga like this, bro. I'm finna motivate y'all, I'm finna help y'all, but I'm finna push it. I gotta lead by example, but right now, bro, I just feel fucked up, bro. So, let me go ahead and post some video, but I love y'all, bro. Stay safe, man. I'm in LA, bro. Straight up. Y'all seen a nigga when he was back in the jail. I'm out now, bitch. I'm out. I'm out. I'm on, por I'm on 1970 porn zebra couch, bro, but I'm out this bitch, you dig? And I'm about that, man. I'm ready, bro. Straight up. Y'all see a nigga rough, bro. Straight up. That's my name. 100 nigga, I'm about it. Fuck, bro. It's just hard to put a swallow, bro. Alright, y'all. Fuck.